Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this cool progress bar in Camtasia. All right, so let me play it for you guys so you can understand what this is. Now you check it out here. It's kind of like an uploading, downloading, completed thing. So you can literally use this as a progress bar, a downloading thing, an uploading thing, a battery even. So it can be used for many different things, but Camtasia does call it a progress bar. Now let me show you how to get this, and then after we get it, I'm gonna show you how you guys can customize a couple things with it. So first thing you wanna do is you want to download this from the Camtasia Assets website. Now a lot of people don't know about this, but when you're in Camtasia, head over to File, go to Library, then go to download more assets. This is gonna open a website on Camtasia where they have all these downloadable assets. Now there are both free and paid digital downloads and you wanna make sure that you are signed in. And then what we wanna to go to is customizable and then go to motion graphics. There are a whole bunch of other things that you can check out, but to find this one, it's going to be in motion graphics. Now you can already see that it is right here, the progress bar. They labeled it as an 80s retro progress bar. But what you can do here is uncheck premium so that you can see all of the free stuff that they have to offer. Now they have like a lot of cool stuff. So you guys can go in here and check that out. But the one that I'm talking about is this one right here. So let's click download file. All right, so it just downloaded and we are opening it up and I can see my Camtasia is blinking. Now I already have this in here, but if you don't already, you wanna click import and put it into your library and you can choose which folder you'd like this file to go into. So I already have this, so I'm gonna click cancel and I'll just show you where I have it. So if I go to library, I put it into this folder right here. So you can see that I actually have it right here, but you can you can rename folders, change things up. This is just my folder where I have all my stuff. So you can see we've got the progress bar down here. If you click on it on the right hand side, it's gonna allow you to change the text here. It won't allow you to change the percentages or the bars, but you can change this text here. For example, if you wanna change it to downloading you can do that you can change the color of it if you want to the font the size the alignment of the text so it looks pretty cool right you have this downloading bar thing and if you add some audio i'm going to go over to my audio here let's say we add some audio sounds to it you can really enhance this media here. So let's just add this cool audio a bunch of times. Okay, let's play it. So you can see it kind of gives it like a cool effect. You can add other kinds of audio as well. That was just an example. For example, something like this electricity. Definitely get creative with it and play around with it. Now, initially, right off the bat, as you look at it, you can't change the color of it. You can only change the color of the text here, right? The downloading part, and you can't change the percentage or the actual bar. So let's see if we can do a little DIY hack here. And let's go over to modify, then go to add effect, visual effects, and let's go to colorize. It made it even brighter, actually. I think it even made it cooler. So it's even brighter. Now we can change this. So let's say if we want it purple. So I just changed it to purple. And this is with the colorize effect, right? Because if I turn it off, it's going to go back to the green. So I have this colorize effect on it. And that actually looks really cool. And that matches our uh, logo colors. So let's play this here. So I actually really like this. 
I'm playing around with this live in front of you guys to show you that, you know, creativity is endless and I'm, I'm literally just thinking on the spot on how to make this cool looking. So now let's see if I can add a little shape here to make it into a battery. So I'm going to head over to annotations, head over to shapes. Let's see what kind of shape I can get. Let's see here. Well, let's try this out. Again, I'm just testing things out. So we've got a shape. I'm gonna make it really small. Kind of make it look like a battery, right? Let me zoom in a bit. A little thinner, right? The battery's usually the top piece. And I'll just move this a little bit over. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm going to change the color of it. So let's head over, click on it, and then head over to this A, Annotation Properties. And then click over here. We want the dropper because I want to sample the color. Maybe I sample the color of this. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it kind of looks okay. I can add, I can probably add some, a purplish to that. So let's see if I, just the slightness of the purple, something like that. And so you can see, it kind of looks like a battery now. So you can, you can do like battery life if you wanted to change the text now. And if you like these kinds of videos, I have a nine plus hour Camtasia course, over 70 lectures teaching you guys things like this. This will fast track your Camtasia learning and I highly recommend it. It's a very inexpensive course and you'll gain a ton of value. So if you want to check that out, that is down in the description below. So if you found this helpful, please make sure to hit the thumbs up. All right, guys, thank you so much. Happy editing, and I'll see you in the next video.